Welcome again to another episode of Buy With Box Six Gun Grill Style. Today I've got a very special guest. It's the original Uncle Jimmy's from Jimmy Sauce. Uncle Jimmy, it's such a great honor and privilege to have you here with me today nice in to my be here. kitchen in Belito. Yeah. Thanks for flying all the way and doing all the effort. No and thank you for making these wonderful sauces for the last couple of years. It's well, a pleasure. Today uh, we're going to buy one of my uh, favorite cuts of meat. It's uh, um, a ribeye on the bone. Uh, I found it a very um, tasty uh, cut. cut of meat and I would like you to help me to buy this and share some of your secrets with the people on how you prefer brying a piece of meat um, and obviously we're going to use some of the old faithful steakhouse sauce Steakhouse. Jimmy's sauces so um, Uncle Jimmy tell me um, how do you fry your steak how do you prepare it do you marinate it beforehand do you spice it beforehand what do you do what are some of the secrets like you said previously uh, beforehand off camera um, everybody does it differently Definitely. I come to your place you brought certain way same here and same for, for a lot of other people so we want to hear the regional Uncle Jimmy's secrets you can, yeah well you know different people um, make uh, steaks different yeah. some people marinate it for a week in the fridge which I think is very silly but you yeah. know they use more sauce so yeah. I'm happy, <laughs> but uh, um, I prefer just to put it on the grill first, yeah. you know, you can spice it. I think we've got some six gun uh, grill spice, put it on, seal it, yeah. and then you start basting it. Okay. You know, so uh, I, I don't make it complicated. Yeah. Um, I think uh, you, you still want this, the taste of the meat. Yeah. You, know? you don't want to just a whole lot of sauce, you know. Yeah, but sure. luckily our sauce is, is, is great. It doesn't overpower the meat. Yeah. It uh, complements meat. You know, okay. so it's, uh, you won't over, uh, have too much sauce taste on the steak. What, what is in the sauce, if I may ask you? What's, uh, what's so special about the sauce? I think any, anybody that loves brying, if you don't know Jimmy's sauce, you, you haven't been brying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give away my secret, but they always say, they ask me where's the recipe I said it's in my head. So they've got to give me a lobotomy if they want the, the real recipe. But you know what? It's. Uh, we have started and tested, we had a restaurant for 20 years yeah. and um, uh, that's where we developed the sauce and our mm. customers started buying it, we used to bring it 2 litres yeah. and we used to put the sauce in there and uh, then we started manufacturing from home, you know, okay. from our kitchen yeah. when we sold the restaurant. So yes, so it's come a long way, it's uh, made a lot of people happy, it's made yeah. me happy because it's, my business is good yeah. but it's made a lot of people happy when they cook that they're using a good product that's giving a good taste to the food. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, let's get right into it. I think our fire is almost ready. Quite hot. Yeah. <laughs> I can believe that. Let me just see here. Let's open up some of these coals. See, I think that's about a nice fire for a This is Durban charcoal. Huh? No, it's tell charcoal. It is it's not charcoal, it's oh. uh, it, it's wood. Oh, it's wood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we only say that for the cameras, but okay. um, yes, it's a, it's it's chocolate. <laughs> it's a, and Captain, we're not any brown with wood, but yeah. it's it's we, very um, nice cold. We also love uh, brine with wood, but it's not always possible. Yeah, possible, yeah. Um, and but we got some nice wood, yeah. We got some nama, nama wood, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. The, the Camille Dwarren yes, nama. That's yes. what we nice brine with, yeah. It comes expensive because it comes in big trucks all yes. the way from Namibia. Yeah. But um, yeah. So we, I don't it? usually bry with an apron, but for for you, I brought Jimmy, it special for and you. it's special, and my bright tongs and everything. Yeah. So yeah, I'm feeling very special. So um, are you gonna take the honors? Yes, yes. Uh, I don't Jimmy, are you happy with, with the fire? Are the fire is the nice. Hunt? That's just right for for steak. Yeah. Uh, like I say, I, I like a steak medium rare. Yes. I don't like it well done. Yeah. So uh, I'll put it on three times or four times, and then it's ready. So uh, you want to spice it before I can... This is a six gun grill. Yeah, you can use that or... Oh, oh you got, the, you shaker. got the shaker, yeah. Okay. I've got a shaker for you. So then you put it on. You know, cooking yeah. is very simple. Cooking is an art, but it's very simple. Yeah. And I like to cover all the sides. Yeah. You know, and... Um, it's a nice piece of meat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so you take the steak off the plunky, and 
then you put on the grill. Now you see you get a nice smoke. So like I say, um, you don't have to cook, for, if you're doing a medium rare, you don't have to cook for long. Yeah. You let it... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice thick steak that obviously though. is about four you know, centimeters. Rib eye, rib eye is because of this fat. Yeah. It goes into the flavor of the meat. It's, um, yeah. it's very nice. So tell me, Uncle Jimmy, where did this all start? You say you, you started with your own restaurant and you yes. started in, yeah. the business started in the garage. Yeah, well, we, when such. we sold our restaurant, we, I, I first wanted to open a coffee shop. And then we went home, I said, we're going to relax for a month. And then after a week, I said to my wife, I can't sit and do nothing. <laughs> what are we going to do? I said, well, let's try the sauce, you know. Yeah. And uh, we started on our kitchen table in a plastic bucket, wooden spoon. Yeah. Filling by hand and slowly going to little butcheries, six bottles here, two bottles. I gave up, the first year I gave away more sauce yeah. than. Uh, My but, first uh, year I sang more um, free concerts. Exactly, than yeah. so that's how it works. Huh? Yeah. And, um, and uh, slowly the sauce started moving. Yeah. And uh, yeah, when we moved to the warehouse and. Oh, uh, yeah. you see, can you see there? The, you can put it on the side to do the bone. The yeah. bone must also be cooked a little bit. Do you want to baste it now? Yeah, I think if you have a basting bowl that we can... I've got one for you. Yeah. I can organize you, you something for you. You can do the one as well. Okay. Yeah, so we... You say I baste it now? A yeah, I can bit. start basting it. How much? Yeah, it just go mad. Like an like art painting, you know? <laughs> you paint all the hikes and yeah. all the Let's little go in everywhere. Hooky, hooks and crannies, yeah. Okay. The thing is, uh, um, you know, a lot of people say, yeah, oh, you know, the sauce burns. I said, then you don't know how to braai. <laughs> you know, is it, um, you must turn, you, once you put sauce on, you yeah. need to turn it regularly, you know. Okay. So it is going to burn. Tell me um, what um, we can do on the bone there. Is it, a, is it an oil-based sauce? It's oil-based, yeah. So, okay. Look, I think the secret is, uh, you know, our passion for the product. And, um, yeah. uh, like I say, at the moment, we're the biggest selling marinade in South Africa. Oh, uh, in retail. And uh, Crown National is uh, distributed by all the butcheries. And they're doing a fantastic job. So, yeah, we've got a good... Uh, Good business good going. Thing, good thing going now. Yeah, yeah but I've, I've, I still can still remember I've, I met you. The first time I met you was one of the festivals. Yes. And you were manning your own stall, working there, selling the stuff, yeah. hard work. Hard and, work, yeah. yeah and yeah, uh, and the hard work pays off. That's oh, lovely. That's so uh, I'm more relaxed now. My daughter's taken over my business. Uh, she yeah. runs my business. So, um, but I'm still, the, you know, do uh, the people need to do a show or something yeah. or a demonstration. I'll, if I'm here in South Africa, then I'll do it, and I like doing it. Yeah. And, you know, we've got a good passion for the for the brand. And you see how nice the steak is. Huh? <laughs> Look at that. I mean, right that's. Then. I'd say just, but you got to turn it now. You put the sauce on, so you don't want it too raw, unless yeah. you like it dry. So, uh, yeah. Some more marinade, or are you happy? Yeah, you can put on it. No, oh, why not? While we add it, we can say. <laughs> I remember one night, um, my wife and I, it was a Saturday night, and it was raining in Cape Town. Yeah. And we get this phone call, and uh, we were quite upset. You know, getting a phone call at, uh, so these guys said they uh, they in a, in a shed on a farm, and um, it's a storming outside, and they brying inside the shed with the, yeah. the Jimmy sauce, and they just phoned me to say, what a nice sauce it is. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so we have a lot of that. We had a, uh, a traffic cop from uh, Caledon. Yeah. Um, also, he said, you know, uh, us as traffic cops get a lot of negative, uh, you know, feedback. Yeah. He says, but I, I'm giving you, saying, I use your product and it's amazing. So, yeah, yeah. that's what we like. Eh? Yeah. So we've got quite a big following on Facebook. We've got 84,000 people on Facebook. Very yeah. active. You know, we yeah. uh, share with them. We call them Jimmy Hollicks. Yeah. You know, people that use our product, yeah. yeah. So we, it's like a family, it's a Jimmy Olic family in Jimmy's. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing story. It is competition time on Bry with Book 6 Gun Grill Style. And as we all know, 
slops or flip flops, whatever you want to call it, is Belito's national footwear. And um, wear them to meetings anywhere if you want somebody to take you seriously. In any case, then you can win this amazing hamper, his and hers hamper, flip flops, slops, aprons, beach towels, beach bag, bright tongs, you name it. All you have to do to win this amazing hamper is go to the Belito TV Facebook page, like it, and comment on this post. Tag three of your friends and use the hashtag chill your toes. Brew Belito. More spice or yes, you can put a little bit more spice. I think bit more just spice. before we take it off to cut, we can put a little bit more sauce also. Okay, so it comes out nice and juicy. I was saying with this, uh, those shows that I did, you know, which uh, you were you're a lot of them, yeah, that I got to meet a lot of artists and you know, such yeah. nice people, eh? and um, had some good memories. Eh? Okay, so we put a little bit on the fat. A little bit on the, the bone. Doesn't really want to stand up on the bone. But I think this is ready. If you say it's ready. Where do we put it on the, on the board? You can put it on this board. Yeah. And you can do the honors to cut it. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I'm going to put some more sauce. Yeah. Just to. Looks lovely. Are we going to rest it for a few minutes? Yes, few, we can few do minutes. it. And then, uh, then we cut it. Yeah. Rest it for a while. Well, Jimmy, this was quite a hot fire. You put the grid down low. It Very went hard. quick. Mm. How long would you say did you take on this steak? Oh, it took about four minutes. Four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah. But look, uh, like I said, it's medium rare. Medium rare. Wanted well done, I'd say. But then you've yeah. got to put the sauce on later. Yeah. Otherwise, you burn Other it. you're going to yeah. burn it. We've rested it for uh, three to four minutes. Let's see. Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Nice. And obviously, nice thing about a ribeye, as you would know, all the fat on the inside. That's it, yeah. I think that's what gives a steak such a nice flavor. Yeah. yeah. Great. Are we going to try a piece? I think we should. All right. I think now we have to taste, Uncle Jimmy. Yes, definitely. Let's say the piece. proof of the pudding is in the eating. Eh? That's it. Lovely. Let's taste that one. Right. Go ahead. I'll take my hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I must say, with that um, six gun grill, is it actually a mm. nice taste? Huh? Mm. What a beautiful combo. Yeah. Simple, easy. And all the flavors complement each other. You can nice cut, yeah. soft meat, meat from wars as always. You can serve us with a nice uh, rocket salad, yeah. just like that, and some feta in it or something. Fantastic. Uncle Jimmy, this is definitely a winner. It's always been. And uh, yeah, such an honor and privilege to have you on the show. Thank you. And you brought a steak for me. It was just amazing having Thank you here. Thank you. Thanks for bro. coming. Yeah. And well done again on your sauce. Thank you. And uh, all the best. It was nice being here. And good luck to you guys uh, in the entertainment industry. Oh, thank and you. We hold some for you guys. Yeah, I know for sure okay. we need it. Thanks. Thank you very much. And that's okay. it. Thank you for watching this episode with me and Uncle Jimmy, where we uh, did one of my favorite cuts, a ribeye on the bone with an excellent sauce and beautiful spice. Just a lacquer, easy, plunky steak. We, we call it in Afrikaans. I see you next week and keep the fires burning.